Hello boys and girls, how you doing? And let's have another pick a card and today is an update on um, third party. A lot of people find themselves in that kind of situation. It doesn't have to be another person. It can be someone who's working a lot, workaholic, or, or you know, um, into exercise or a lot contact with their family and not really being present in the relationship. So let's have a look and let's have two pal the usual story, as you know now by heart. Nice and simple, that's the way we like it. Okay, so, one, two, one, two. <coughs> Clearing the voice. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so, um, what's happening on that third party? Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Sword. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so straightforward. Someone is definitely rushing towards you. I mean, this is, you know, you symbol kind of vibe. To apologize to you. And offering equal give and take. That's not third party anymore because at the end of the day, it's like transparency. It's uh, what you put in there. Obviously, you get, you know, um, it's a bit dodgy what I said. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, equal. <coughs> yes. better, better cough, excuse me. <laughs> that was dodgy. Moving on. Um, anyhow, um, Yes, it's very transparent. Uh, you invest and you get everything back at the same time. So, yes, it's been a process, obviously, but let's have more details and let's keep it clean. Come on, Axel. Okay, so yes, obviously you needed to end a cycle that was very destructive, that was very uh, maybe full of lies and betrayal. And maybe they had to wake up that they maybe um, they were lying to themselves or someone, the third party was actually lying to them as well and they had maybe something going on as well or whatever um so they realized they woke up and maybe as well they tried so so hard to make this connection work and they realized that i'm never going to be happy so i have to appreciate that you know you came into my life to show me that i wasn't totally happy it took a while to get to that stage however now they come back they're rushing back and apologize your connection is definitely protected, but you have to balance the emotion, you know, and you have to learn to kind of stay smooth, okay, balance it all, and go slowly as well, no point of rushing into your, your story, because now, you know, there's no more third party, you know, take your time to learn to know each other, and uh, yeah, maybe if you need some time to actually, um, be in your cave, man cave or woman cave, that doesn't matter, but maybe you need some time to pause, reflect, recharge battery as well. And maybe, you know, instead of jumping from one position to the next and just have a moment of stillness and just kind of like, okay, what am I all about? What do I actually want? Do I really trust that person? Do I really want to be in that relationship? There's a lot of love. And it was probably love at first sight. Obviously, you know, that you got into a situation where you didn't expect it wasn't supposed to happen uh, maybe that person was with someone else or you were with someone else as well and at the end of the day you were living your life and it just that you just happened that's life okay so there's a lot of love and yes they're checking you out on social media they never let it go they knew that they were not available but they never totally let it go because they could just like not forget you they try probably <coughs> excuse me they try probably they couldn't and what do we have? I knew how to push the cards. <laughs> because it's commitment. You two belong to each other. You probably end up in a very, you know, committed relationship, in a marriage or whatever. At the end of the day, you two belong to each other. And yes, it's been a journey, but you got there at the end. So here you have it. Okay. So, pal number two. Okay. So, uh, yeah. A seven of swords, a six of wands, three of cups. Hmm. Definitely there was a third party, um, but as well, that could be seen differently as well. They definitely were sneaky to start with. You know what I'm saying? Um, they'd run away maybe as well from their own reality, from their own emotion, from their own feeling. Maybe they didn't want to accept that what they were feeling for you, but also they're trying to get away with murder, to be fair, right? But now they left a bunch of people, or maybe that very much, that, that person. Can I speak? That person. And now they feel victorious today because they made that step forward. And so, yes, they maybe ask you to date. It's very true. Or they, they keep the 
option a bit open let's have a look and see what's going on really because that can be seen different way yes they definitely drop a heavy weight and that can be the weight of uh, their responsibility they care for many people they were just dealing with too many things or maybe they just decided this relationship the one they were in to start with is not working i tried i'm exhausted i want to leave for myself now it's about time and yes maybe that's that's the kind of a divorce involved there's some paperwork legal matters also they might have worked on themselves and trying to look within how comes you know how comes you know i just feel like my emotion my feelings uh, change why do i wake up to myself suddenly there's a lot, you know, to ask themselves. And obviously they had a codependency, an attachment, a toxicity. Maybe they thought you were the toxicity. Maybe they thought, well, I'm sexually attracted to that person. And maybe they just read you as such. However, maybe they thought, mm, hold on a minute, it's not that straightforward. Maybe my codependency is um, with the person I'm married to. So yes, they had to choose, obviously, between the, you know, the tradition the you know companionship they had within their marriage and you and that is a bit of a gamble for them but they found themselves in that situation so they perceive you as someone very grounded very um loving very um nurturing at the same time very strong you're very independent you don't need to be with someone if you have to be with someone it's because that person add to your happiness if not well bye you know what i'm saying <laughs> so there's been a bit of a mission to get there and yes i mean it's been difficult it's been very challenging for both of you probably but there is a reconciliation here yes because at the end of the day they maybe thought okay this is the wrong thing i shouldn't you know think of someone else i should be with uh, my spouse and of course straightforward but then suddenly they realized maybe I'm not with the right person or together. Maybe I have to rethink all of this. And it was some kind of process to get there. But eventually they got there. So hmm, there you have it. Yeah, it took them, you know, it's so much. <laughs> um, they hold on to the idea of what a marriage should look like, what a committed relationship should be. And then they suddenly realize when well, I'm in the wrong marriage altogether and they suddenly change the perspective but they hold on to uh, their principle which is very noble of course of course you don't want to just like you know drop everything you know but they had to realize hold on a minute I'm, I'm making a big mistake here and they're rushing towards you because they realize they made you know yeah you are someone who can bring the stability the the grounding energy in their life and they need that they need the stability yeah, it was a third party, no doubt about this, but they got very, very heartbroken in the process. Um, but of course, you know, it's difficult to to l appreciate that maybe your marriage fell. And I know the feeling because you feel like you failed, but it didn't. You learn and you go through a process and you those lessons you learn about yourself and what you deserve and what you don't deserve, that they are priceless. So there's no failure. You learn, but I appreciate that you can feel like a failure. So they're going to make an, an offer towards you. They're not sure you're going to accept it or not. That is very frustrating for them, of course. And yes, it's still going back and forth in their head. How can I approach that person after what happened? But they cannot not approach you because you're shining very bright and you're very balanced and you you are home to them. That's it. And so they have to make that, you know, they have to find the strengths and do that, you know, because otherwise they will, fe they will feel left in the cold and what they want in the brand new beginning. Let's start fresh. Let's start from, you know, from day one. Okay. And build long term. So yeah, it's beautiful, but it's a process. So hey, here you have it. That's an update on the third party. On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.